So the TicWatch Pro 3 GPS came out in 2020 and I got one at launch. You can check out my full review right up there on why you shouldn't get this watch. But in this video, I'm going to try to fix the sensors not working because I feel like it's just a water damage issue and I feel like I should be able to fix it. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So the problem with my TicWatch Pro 3 is that the sensors, they do work sometimes and they don't when you need them. Now this watch is out of warranty and even during warranty Mobway wasn't very helpful in fixing it because it only happened on and off so they couldn't detect it that's why the problem didn't exist. But here you can see you can't actually use the heart rate sensor or the blood oxygen sensor because it's kaput. To show you guys the real issue here's the problem. Now I don't know what's gonna happen until after the fix so I'm recording as I go. The outcome could be anything either it fixes it or keeps it the way it is. Either way you guys will find out as soon as I do it. So here's the tick wash. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I removed the bands as well as the four screws that go here. These are T4s. I have a T4 driver here. So I've removed the screws. It will be glued on pretty hard so you would need some sort of a heat gun or a prying tool, plastic one preferably, to get it out of here. Open this bad boy up. There is a ribbon cable attached to this underneath so be careful when you're removing it. And before I go ahead and remove all of this, I wanted to show you guys the issue. So I put the back panel on just holding it by my hand. And I'll go to the heart rate monitor app and click, click OK. It says it's measuring, but you can see it's doing nothing. It's off. Here it says measuring. That's the problem. Sometimes it will just say that you're not wearing the watch, but I've got my finger on there. So the proximity sensor is covered and the heart rate sensor is also accessible. I'm going to close it again. Try that again. Measuring doesn't work. All right, I'm going to turn off the watch now. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's the official app by Mobboy. I'm not using any third party stuff. Watch is off. Flip it. Get the back panel off. All right, so that's that's where the ribbon cable is. I don't know how I can show you guys. Yeah. It's attached right here. All you have to do is just use your fingernail or a plastic spatula. Spatula. Is that what it's called? I think it's called just a plastic tool. Just lift that up like a Lego. So there was one more screw here. So I feel like this chip right here, this black chip looking device, is the one that's got some water in it. You can see some, what do you call it, salination, corrosion going on there. What I have here is a bottle of isopropyl alcohol. This is a 99% isopropyl alcohol. You can get it at any pharmacy or anything like that. This is the rest of the watch. That is fine. I'm going to leave this one aside. Get this bad boy here. I'm going to try to clean it. How do I clean it? Isopropyl alcohol in this cap here. I'm going to submerge that. I'm going to keep it submerged for a while. While we're at it, I'm going to clean the connector that connects to the main board as well why not i'm gonna leave them both inside and see if it actually fixes it meanwhile on the watch side i don't see any signs of corrosion as you can see there are no signs this is a water damage indicator that has a little pink dot on there so a little bit of moisture might have gone in but on the main board itself i don't see any signs of corrosion at all all right, it's been about two to three minutes. It's been fully submerged for a while now. This thing goes underneath like so. And now you gotta screw it in. Here we go. It's going in. Looks a little bit cleaner. I don't know, there's still a sign of corrosion. Let's try it. Here's the watch completely turned off. You can see the battery is disconnected. So first up, I'm going to connect the battery. There you go. It just snaps on like a little Lego and get this guy in. There you go. Snaps in. I'm not going to put screws in just yet. Let's test it out. Turning it on. All right. We're in the operating system. Let's go to the heart rate app. It 
Damn, it's working. Woohoo! Try that again. Let's do take a measurement just so you guys know that I'm not messing around with you. My heart rate's gonna be pretty high right now. I'm excited. Ooh yeah, 87. That's a bit high for me. When I'm resting, it's usually 65, 70. Let's take the blood oxygen as well. Getting my oxygen in. I can't believe it's working. I cannot believe. It was a silly thing like that. A little bit of corrosion because of water. I feel proud. All right, I'm gonna get this cruise back in. Turn off the watch. Final screw. Of course I got it on backwards. It's always easier to sec- Oh. Uh, I'm pro at this. There you go. All right, so we're in the watch on the wrist. Let's do a double check if everything still works. Yeah, that is satisfying to see it work. It has never worked since my purchase. But here, the oxygen app. Bam, 100% oxygen, let's go. So there you have it guys. I was as surprised as you guys when I found out that it actually worked and it started working normally again. I'm gonna report it if I have any issues in the future with it. Yeah, check out the YouTube community page on my channel if you want more updates to it by tapping that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that. Here are some considerations when you do this yourself if you have the same problem. This problem is by design, in my opinion. If you look at the back panel, there is a little hole which allows air to flow and has a little grill so that water doesn't come in. But it doesn't stop water. It actually is directly connected to the chip that controls the heart rate. So you really don't want water getting into those areas and somehow Mobboy has designed a watch where it goes straight to that. It's hilarious. The other consideration is that the glue that holds the back to the watch is probably damaged so you will need to get a new glue or a silicone type adhesive that is usually used for screens it's a little tricky to apply but once you get a hang of it you can do it right now i haven't applied any but i'm gonna go and get it from the city and apply it and of course mobboy didn't help me out in any of this process when i tried to contact them regarding this they wouldn't even send me a back panel which i can buy new which is crazy because a back panel would be what 20 30 bucks i should be able to easily replace it no they don't supply parts all you can do is buy a new watch and their warranty sucks so you really can't do much long story short don't buy the mobile tick watch pro 3 but if you're stuck like i am here this is a probable solution to the problem so guys i don't want this video to be any longer than it needs to so smash that like button if this video helped you or you found the content interesting. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.